Hey everybody, this is Almanda. This is a new player coming to Minecraft. We are about a month and a half in, roughly. Hi, Adolin Ainsworth. This is um, playing Life of the Village 2 mod pack on Minecraft. So we have the Mine Colonies mod, which means we get a nice little village that the people all build. We have the uh, we have followers, which I think is in the base game. <laughs> I'll tell you the story on that later. Um, we have some other mods, which allows us to have a building like that house that we've got here. Um, I've got a warehouse, a builder's hut, a tavern, a uh, town hall, and a tavern. Um, this is um, using Life of the Village 2 uses Minecraft 1.16, so we're a little bit behind real life Minecraft versions. It's 1.19 right now. Um, we are uh, adjusting for things. Um, we're just playing around. So there's my t my town hall. Town hall doesn't do much. I'm currently in the middle of upgrading my builder, which I didn't show on the video. We're trying to do as much of this series. This is a single player game. Just trying to try to learn Minecraft to try to figure out how Life of the Village 2 works. Um, some of my favorite things on this is the Mine Colonies mod, which I don't know what version of Mine Colonies this is, but that, again, it's a thing that allows us to have all these wonderful people do all these wonderful things and build their builds, build buildings that other people have to figure it out. Um, uh, also it has Pam's uh, Harvest mod and cooking, so we have plenty of extra fun um, Vegetables and foods don't jump feet. Hmm. Um, this is my little mountain. I think we're gonna name it today. Um, I am a worm player by heart, I guess. I played worm for many years, and that's a old style game that's actually a predecessor to Minecraft or related to Minecraft. I think it's a predecessor, and not the other way around. A lot of people think worm is the inferior game, which in terms of popularity, totally is. Um, I've got two. I've got this nice, huge, tall area here. Um, this is a river that goes out to the sea. We've done that once in a video. Um, I did a little bit of exploring in between videos, so I'm showing as much as I can of the gameplay of this series on this server here. I do have a very small multiplayer server that's not super. Big. It's not a public server as far as I know. Um, found a tamarack tree. Uh, we'll talk about that here in a minute, maybe, probably. So I've added some um, things. Uh, we've got uh, sheep coming over here now that I've got some grass growing over here. This used to be a lot of stone, and it's starting to become less stone. So we're. Oops, I need to get some stuff up here. So. Um, for the moment, um, one thing I haven't done in this game that I miss doing from the Worm series is the idea of um, the names, like, of things. So I'm kind of a role player, but not really, not really a role player at all. But I like to think that I am. <laughs> really, that's what it is. Um, so we're gonna come in here and we're gonna make some um, some signs. Um, because I want to, like, put a stamp, put Elmanda's stamp on this. Um, I have gotten some dark oak logs. I'll show you what the death marker is all about here in a second once I figure out where. No, this one doesn't have a lot of those. I think all of my extra stuff is in the other. Oops. And then, as Elmanda always does. Um, I did. Oh, why are the cactuses in my pocket? I don't know. Um, I did get some cactuses. <sighs> I guess I went on an adventure. That's why I have my little buddy here. Let's give myself some planks. Um, and then after I did the planks, let's put my... Um, we definitely need to organize. We're, we're working on it. Um, this game is fun, but it does test my organization skills. Um, a smidge. Okay, a lot, but... Um, that makes it kind of fun. I need to be working on um, that. Actually, let's do that. I have 
quite a few coals. Let's go ahead and marble, marble it up. Um, trying to waste all of our time on the boring stuff, but uh, sometimes that happens. But on this game, you never know if you're going to get the boring stuff or the other stuff that you forget to talk about. Um, marble. Marble was always fun in Worm. Um, so, yes, I do a lot of comparisons to Worm. I'm also doing some comparisons to my multiplayer game. Um, that's kind of where I get to test things a little bit um, before we get to put it into action. Um, I was going to do. Um, I was talking about we needed to do the planks so I could do. Oh crap, Armanda did this again. What are we doing? Um, let me grab this. I don't remember. I'm doing planks so we can do signs. <sighs> we'll finish this when you're right. I always hope so. Um, let's do copper. I'm trying to get my stuff upgraded as I can. Oh, whoops. Get stuff going while we're doing other stuff. Um, always helpful. I'm doing signs. We're doing signs. Amanda's doing signs. Just a second, we're doing signs. Oh. <laughs> uh, yeah. The fact that I have to remind myself tells you all you need to know about Amanda's gameplay. What we're doing is just a let's play, so we're kind of chill. Um, this is kind of in the streaming style without actually streaming, because I really don't want to be streaming, even though it would probably be just fine for us to be streaming. Um, potatoes and carrots. Let me get my celery out for our composter. Since the compo, since the Pam's is good, but it doesn't ever, ever recognize everything, I always put celery in the composter. As we did last episode, I think. I'm trying to remember. Um, let's. Okay. So, um, yeah, we did this thing where I meant to do something, and then sure enough, um, we didn't do it. Okay, so signs. I got spruce, so the spruce signs. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Another one here. You guys probably have better ideas on how to be more efficient with that than I do. That's okay. Um, we're gonna do some naming. Um, I haven't quite figured out the name for this little guy, Manor. And he's a nice little house he got built with the uh, prefab mod. Um, Got my little mine there, my my actual like cave areas, and then the mine inside the house, which we did a video on a while ago. Um, I don't know what the warehouse is going to need. So the style of the original um, was the dwarven, true dwarven, and we went with the true tr true dwarven. <laughs> Amanda wasn't sure she was going to do this all the time, but sure enough, she is. Um, I. Even though right now, here. <sighs> okay, so we're at level one, and this is a level one building, and the guys in my colonies level up the buildings as as you tell them to, right? Okay, so this is. Um, I've got a huge list of things. Whoops, that I wanted. Hold on, I gotta, I gotta load it in on my other game. Where did I? What did I say? I don't remember. Um, give me a second. <laughs> My brain froze. Uh, let's maybe come back to that, hopefully. Um, I always wanted to call this tavern, this town hall, Strawberry Square, because there's strawberries over here. Um, so I just like that name, the alliteration of that name. Um, try and find the best way, best place to put it there. Um, when these characters, in mine colonies, when the characters, like, Strawberry Square. Um, okay. Square. Um, I've not done a lot of science stuff before. Hey, it's at an angle. I kind of like that. It, it lets me do it at an angle. Awesome. Um, 
um, the characters are going to come in and that's probably going to be in the way and they're going to move it, whatever, that's, that's fair. Um, I don't mind that uh, at all. I just have to remember to we put it back up. Um, so, what I have done in the years, like if you look up online, there's like all these little fantasy name things. So I've just got a like a big huge list of fantasy names. And I didn't write down, I was saying in my brain which one I wanted this one to be. I'm um, looking at my fantasy name list. I just keep collecting them in case I would ever do um, D&D, which I'm never going to do, so I'm going to do this instead. Um, so some of the names that I've saved, uh, Mead Market, Oak Cast, Firewater Inn, Marble Braid Tavern, um, Jade Bringer, Flintfall, um, Iron Bar Quarters, that wasn't what I wanted to call it. I had a name, picked out, Bright Vane Haven, Tempest Wall, Sheemart, Wake Bridge, Wake Bridge Key, Ports and Atoll. Um, oops, we're getting into dark territory. Sometimes I'm good at my timing. As long as I call them a in bed, that's all that matters. Um, I one time did say with very high authority that I wanted the, um, go as fast as possible. That's not necessarily true. If you go as fast as possible, then the characters, the citizens, do not get to sleep. Um, I'm going to rename the colony. Um, they do have a name for this. It's not Amanda Nora's colony. It is going to be called Twill, Twill, Near, um, no, Mount, Mount, Twill, Near. That sounds better. Um, and that way we have, oh, why, oh well, apparently it is Mount Filmer 1, um, oh well. Um, so now we have a name for the, for the, like, place. The whole place is going to be called. So I can kind of give it its name. So I can, like, do that in the intro once I, you know, since I figured out what I wanted it to be. I still can't remember what I, I had a name for the Bing Tavern. Barrel Stone Manor. Yeah, I think that's what it was. Okay. Because I like, oh, there's a lot of barrels here. Barrel Stone. Whoops. Let's see what we Manor. Manor. Um, so this is some of my um, Strawberry Square, Barrel Stone Manor, we have or Mount Wilmere. Um, I just like that sound, even though it's probably hard to say. Um, the warehouse, I don't have a warehouse name. The oak well, or al it's not oak though, it's spruce. Spruce, I don't think I have anything in spruce here. Um, marble would be, let's we'll see. Um, so, this is kind of fun, uh, collecting names and having names go along with this stuff. So, story time. We always have story time, and half the time the stories disappear. Um, I went on a small adventure, actually a large adventure, looking for things like cactuses. So, in the desert hills over here, um, I found, is it here? This guy's house, I think. I think this is where I was at. Um, I don't have a waystone over here, so I've had to, like, the, the moment yet. Um, I think this is the guy's house. So I finally f found some cactuses. So I got some cactus going for the green dye. Apparently that's what you need for green dye. It's like some kind of... There's something here too. And I didn't mark it out on my map. Sometimes I mark it on my map. Um, there's a Badlands area here. Is this Red Rock Valley? We need to go here to look at it. Because I haven't seen a lot of videos that show this in any... Are there any videos? Um, and there's more desert back behind here as well. Um, I took my boat out. There's quite a bit of ice, so we've got ice around us quite a bit. There's a nice little village over here, which I did not explore. Um, Redwood is really pretty in my other game, which is my multiplayer game. I did figure out how to um, do the village up there. There's a village that I haven't explored up here. I've got temple that's near our house. Here's our little house and our guys. Um, I wanted to see what that was, if that was anything. I've been down to the Sunflower Plains here. 
and this guy is villagers, probably. It's some kind of maybe strongholdy thing on the map. It's very big somewhere. And somewhere around here, there was a moose, and the moose are not passive. They will chase you, chase you, chase you. So I was not expecting the moose. Like I was expecting it to be like bears and just kind of let you guys go. I've not really actually been in the marsh very much, but I've built so much about them. Um, Taiga fields. Um, we did a little bit of exploring earlier, so when we were doing the video before, this is when I met the villagers. This is where we had, we started the one video at this nether area here, where I said the portal's almost complete. Um, I'm still kind of nervous about doing that. This is also a almost complete portal as well. Um, this is where the house was that I killed the villa, killed the follower. And so this is where we have been. Um, I have been in the swamp, but not with you guys. And then this is a nice little dark oak forest, not too far from my area. I kind of consider all this to be a place where I can expand. We're all high up on the ground. There's my bridge that I built, the second one. There's the first bridge I built. And they have the trees growing. So, um, I found this guy. I gave him food. He's a follower. Um, I've trying to be smarter about him and sometimes have him patrol um, when I'm going on an adventure and so then he doesn't follow me slash um, he would be a good mule I guess um, he's only used it a, a few times I can have him guard um, I really haven't done most of this I don't need him to do this until I am ready He's a what? Arbalist. Does that mean he's good with um, trees? Um, I don't know. Anyway, um, so this uh, well, the beginning of the last video, I just kept saying guard towers, guard towers, guard towers, and I didn't actually put the guard towers down. We did the, the warehouse instead. Um, we are going to do finish this up so I can get things going. Um, what is going on? Why are you? Usually, she tells me what she needs. <sighs> what are you having problems? There's no, I know, I'll get the guard towers here. Sandstone, diorite, spruce cobblestone, spruce door, polished granite. Okay. What did she say? Sandstone, polished diorite, spruce cobblestone, timber frame. Did we do any of those on camera? I don't know. Um, I don't, I think since she put this, I think she put this um, chest here. Um, the what I've been reading in the mine colonies um, is the racks is what they tend to use for storage. So um, that might be one I can't remember if I placed it or she placed it. So I don't know if she has access to the information there. Um, I also have a helper, which I think we talked about but didn't actually show you how I build it. I still need... Oh wait, uh, this guy. The two games get mixed up in my head. This guy has plenty of um, stuff here. Now I'm done with all this, and I don't really. I'm not gonna spend a ton of time on this. But I'll quickly put things away. Um, um, I keep forgetting I can make more. I have lots of storage, and sure enough, I'm just gonna skin things in wherever I can. Whatever makes sense. So then I'm going to go back and help her with the polished eye right and all that stuff. <sighs> okay. So, stone. Did I run out of stone? Did I not do this one? No, I got this one. Okay. I think here. Um, let's put my spruce. We'll do some more signs later. Um, let's go find my resource scroll. Oh, oh, I had signs. <laughs> Where 
This is why I wanted to build the warehouse so I could help myself to be organized. Not a perfect habit. Okay, so we need the build tool usually for things. Okay, so now I'm gonna go back to the resource scroll. She doesn't no, see it's in it's a little bit janky. I don't know why. Mmm she doesn't know what she needs. She tells me what she needs, but it isn't on the scroll anymore. Hmm. We got a glitch. I would like to finish this up. Maybe because it's been several days since I've played this one and I've done other stuff. I don't know. Why do you not? I'm going to cancel the upgrade and then I'm going to re upgrade. Um, sometimes that helps. Okay. Nope, not yet. Hmm. Alright, how are you doing? Um, are you just mad about the guard towers? So you're not telling me anything. Come on. She glitched the builder. Oh, there. Alright. Now it'll probably tell me. Okay, so now. I need grass. But that's not the thing she complained about. She needs sandstone. Spruce stairs, spruce fence, gate, spruce doors, polished granite, and polished jack right. Okay, so she's thinking about what she needs and she's moving around. So at least she's got stuff to do. And uh, maybe she's got to undo stuff that I've done. We'll see. Um, now mine shows me what I need to do. Okay, I do have stuff in the warehouse, and maybe that's where I need to go first. So I want to say that my polished diorite. I always forget which ones have to go with, um, some of them go in the, um, diorite, diorite, did not, oh, I do have a polished diorite, okay, um, what were the other things, um, polished granite, okay, polished granite, polished granite, okay, what else? Um, sandstone. Spruce door. Okay. I don't know where we're at on the time of day here. Sandstone. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, I think. You learn and remember, <laughs> not you, I learn how to do multiples. This is a good, um, Good reminder of how to multiply. Back to elementary school. Yay! Okay, so she, I got the sandstone, the diorite, the granite. It becomes green, and it's okay. Spruce stairs, I need a few. Spruce door, plain spruce cobblestone. Okay, so might not have enough spruce here. So I'll probably have to come get some spruce out of here. Okay, so we'll do three fourths of those into planks. I've got some cobblestone, I have a lot. So, um, the I don't think we've done this, I'm not sure. So, in here, the JEI spruce cobblestone. Um, I think it was this guy. I think that's what he needs. Okay, so click on this and it shows you what to do first. I need the vertical. So the magic is the build tool, the cobblestone, and the spruce planks. We're going to do a couple of these. Because when I've noticed when they ask for stuff, they want a lot sometimes, or they want a version. So what's kind of cool about this is now this can become a lot of different things. So it starts off with the vertical, and then you do the um, timber stone. Let me make sure what she needs is on the vertical. She needs plain spruce double stone, and she needs 14 of them. Um, I'm not sure if we've done this or not. I don't know if I've talked about it, but we'll talk about that. Okay, so let's take three fourths of these and make them into that. Um, so now I have the cross. So now it becomes this timber stone frame. So this just kind of cycles through all of the different things you need. Um, 
So I've got that. Um, so I've got this, got that. So now I need spruce paper, spruce stairs, spruce door. Um, the one cool thing about... Uh, I think this will work. Um, one, I think it's Pam's or one of these uh, mods lets me make paper out of berries. Berry paper. So now I'm going to have paper and it's, I think it's spruce, um, what you say? Um, left hand spruce slope, left right hand spruce slope. So, and vertical spruce paper, I don't know if I have enough here. 26, and another 14. Yeah, maybe. Okay, so, we will, let's see, do the build tool, and then the spruce. I'm gonna make a lot. Because there are a lot of things you make out of this. I'll take the build tool back down. Um, did I need the vertical paper? Okay, let's. I did. Okay, so since I've got that in my pocket, before I start making some. Well, no. Let's just. I've got enough. Let's take half of these. Um, I got like 64, so hopefully I don't need all these. We're going to do a right hand and a left hand, so we're going to do the crossed ones, the plain ones. Um, so this gives you some building options if you wanted to do this also. I mean, like, in addition to the things that your characters are building. Okay, so I'm going to take half of the right ones and make left ones. So it seems like that's usually good to send by. We're going to go give her stuff, even though I have the list in front of me. And I can actually, like, do this. My follower, where did he go? Did I tell him to guard? Yeah, I think so. I think I forgot to tell him to guard. So I'm just going to sit here and stay happy and not, like, be in the way. Before I was preparing for this video, and I was walking around and very much, um, having a hard time with. Oh, let's see. That might be why. Might be needing the... Nope. She's got it. Spruce stairs, door, and grass. Um, did we ever do grass with you guys? I don't think so. I think I've done grass in my other game. But I so I need to take some of my advanced building stuff and kind of stick it in my warehouse. So this is going to come in handy later. Um, this is, so, I've started building some of the stuff in the warehouse, let's do the cobblestone, stone and, like, sand type of things here, sandstone, coal, I've got my, um, logs, I do have oak doors, but I don't have those, um, spruce planks, okay, let's, yeah, this is enough, um, and then I got my oh cobblestones here. Whoops! I just put cobblestone in the wrong place. That's okay. Cobblestone becomes really important here later. I realized kind of late that you can take these small stones and make them into big stones. Um. All right. So and I think this might be an extra one that I added to try to help out. So thanks. Okay. So we're gonna do like the advance. Uh, stuff in here. I don't think we need any of this at the moment. What eventually would be nice is to have a like a cobblestone advanced one, a spruce advanced one, a um, oak advanced one. Um, let me put the polished stuff in here. This front one as well. So that seems to be a nice little area. I don't really think they want jade. I don't mind jade. I have, a, I have to figure out where to put it to make it pretty. Um, we're gonna make some planks. Okay, so um, did we do the wood cutter or the stone cutter? Um, I don't remember. I have one of the cutters in here. Wood cutter and stone cutter are really nice tools. We need to have a wood cutter. Okay. 
so we're going to make the stairs. We're just going to hit shift, and that's going to get all of those into stairs. We're going to make fences. All of those are going to be fences. So anything I can make out of planks. Did she need? What did she need? It tells me. Spruce door or spruce fence gate. Stairs is the only thing I needed to get for, but that's okay. I don't mind having extra fences. These fences are good. And then we'll do grass. Once I figure out where I put that tool. Or I'll make it. I might have to make it. There it is. Okay. So we'll do grass here. I think it's shears. Shears in the grass. Um, let's see. Stairs. Done. Fence done. Shears. Yeah. Resources. Because I've never had this in my hand before. That's one thing. <laughs> this is kind of silly. The game doesn't always, like, it really recognizes. I think it's this. Yep, grass. Some of it's tall grass. I finally decided to use some of my, um, there we go, I needed grass. Just wants to make it nice. Then my, um, bone nail. So, I was trying to get, uh, flowers to show up randomly. And it kind of works. I kind of have some random flowers here. Okay. I'm learning. And the hard part about Alondo playing is trying to keep her from hoarding everything. Okay, so I've got grass. I need a spruce fence gate and a spruce door. Three spruce doors. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, let's just do it this way. Yes, I know it makes more than one door, but these guys are always going to ask for doors, so it's not a problem to have extra doors. Hot folders. Okay. And a spruce fence gate. So, this one will look up. Fence gate. Okay. Alright, I need the sticks, which I don't have. And sure enough, did I actually. <sighs> How many move items? How many do I want to make? Probably not that many. I will make a couple extra. We still need it for something else. Um, I'm trying to look at the wiki. What else do I need? Anything? Ah, got it all. Okay, so she's gonna be able to go and keep going. Just in time for the sun to set. So we're gonna upgrade our molder to level two. She can use um so I think it's level two. She can use the she's going to bed, which is fine. Go to bed, see if I can I don't know, put all the stuff in here. Resources in here. I am actually really surprised at how many times stairs are used in building upside down and right side up. I mean, it's a Minecraft thing that you guys all know about if you're a Minecraft player, but did not know that myself. Now I'm on the Mount Twill Mirror. Yeah. I think I like that. I hope I like that. I can always change it, I suppose. Maybe? Alright. So, Everly. Is it Everly? No, it's yet. Okay. Anyway, while she's building that, let's go over the quests here. So this is another cool thing about the Life in the Village 2 mod. It kind of like leads you to different pathways um, by providing you quests. So it kind of gives you an idea. These are things that I found on my way. Um, we'll do another story time here in a second. Because I died. Um... I don't know if you guys are following along with the let's play as it goes along, but I was in a mine and it was very scary and I was way more scared than I would like to have been. <laughs> Oops. I missed that guy. Oh, I don't remember that. Apparently, let me fix this. Apparently, I left that hanging here. We're gonna fix this. There we go. 
Um, I got really nervous about the uh, being in water, so I realized I need to overcome fears about that a little bit. So I need to do that. It's still, still on my agenda sometime. Not yet. Not right now. Not at the moment. Soon. Um, but some of it I, I've already been working on a little bit. Um, I went on a little adventure, I walked down the, the pathway here, and I was starting to grab some sand, and sure enough, same thing happened. My land below me just went poot, and all of a sudden I'm nervous, and I'm down in the middle of the water in a cave. Wasn't expecting it. That's happened a couple times now. Um, different places, most of the time not on camera, but here, here nor there. Um, hopefully she can do this while we're worried about where we're working here. I'm going to do some guard tower stuff like I was hoping to. Um, um, so I did die there because I fell from a high place. So I had like 30 some levels. Um, now I'm back to 25. Um, and I didn't do any enchanting at all. Um, I do need to put that up on my list. Um, I think it's just because it's new, so I'm having a harder time like making myself do the enchanting. Because I'm not used to enchanting yet. This might be in her way, actually. I might need it to put that like one, one block over. We'll see. She can, you know, repair it if she needs to. This is Lexi, not Everly. I've got two build builders on different servers. And this isn't even a server, this is just my multi my single player. But, I'm trying to figure out... Okay, so, um, guard team. So, anyway, uh, the story about the thing I fell. So, I'm learning how to fall better. Um... The guard towers are interesting. I think I started talking about this last time, but I didn't actually do it. Um, the guard towers can expand your territory quite a bit, but they also expand your like amount of people that can live in here. Because the be the guard tower is an extra bed. The person who's in the guard tower doesn't actually get a bed anymore. They have to sleep in the guard tower, or they sleep in the way like going places. Um, they don't actually sleep in the bed anymore, so their their sleep is disrupted. Uh, I'm thinking about a guard tower here. Even when I had a lot of guard towers, I they still feel like they were complaining, but I didn't have quite enough. And as soon as I made them enough guard towers, they stopped complaining about being scared about guard towers. The thing about guard towers is also that um, once you get a guard tower, your colony can get raided by rando randos, um, random individuals, um, so it's one of the reasons I'm in, I kind of hesitated last time to do the guard tower. Um, come on, Lexi. Mm, I need to pause real quickly. Hold on. Mm. Okay, is it good? Alright. Um, sorry guys. Back to the game. Um, tower towers, raids. Um, raids are not horrible, but they're not favorite either. Um, kind of wanted you to hurry up so I can do the other, not, not you, her. Um, she's still working though. Hmm, maybe. Are you stuck because you're building yourself into a corner? Sometimes that does happen. What do you need? You need another door? I gave you all the doors. <laughs> she likes a lot of doors, apparently. And she likes to have things re given to her. <laughs> it might not have fit in her um, inventory before. Don't. This is kind of cool, though. Like, so you can see the changes going on. Um, one of the reasons I really like doing the videos on Minecraft and where before this is that you get to see the 
Uh, get to see the progress. Alright. Place your door. Kiddo. <laughs> We followed her around when she did the warehouse just the last video. Come on. Um, I'm acting, acting as if I don't have the control of looking at what she's done. She's only used half of the stuff she needs. <laughs> uh, okay, 57%. A little more than half. Um, one of the things about the mine colonies and leveling and that kind of stuff. Let me let me move this. I feel like I need to move this. Yeah, I'm using my gold with my diamond pickaxe. That's probably why I go through tools very easily. I am going to pretend like um I'm gonna pretend I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna pretend like um, that was a problem for you. So I can. I need to jump up here to be on the top of that one, otherwise it goes. There we go. Um, I don't have lots of defenses. Ooh! We could do a lot of these. Um, I need to do them actually over there. Back side of the tavern, the. Um, I call it since I named it in the game. So I have a barrel stone manor. Barrel stone manor. I think barrel stone is supposed to be like one name. I mean, I keep running into these dang um, lanterns. So pick it up. Okay. Put the fence here. Um, I need to stand on something to get the top one. I don't know if I can jump. This is gonna be good. Ah, I did it. I'm sure everybody else is like, yeah, that's how we always do it. But, yeah. I'm on this new. New to Minecraft for this whole name of the series. Whoops, wrong one. New to Minecraft and also slightly incompetent in Minecraft. <laughs> All the things that are easy for everybody else, Monda's just learning now. Nether still intimidates me, so I'm not going to go there for a while if I can help it. We're just going to stay in what they call what the overworld. Is that right? Okay, do it again. And, oops, nope. See? Nope, nope. I got it. Finally. I need my axe, but. So, we're just relaxing, gameplay. And then that way it's underneath my head, so I'm like not having to worry about hitting it. Um, nice. Woohoo! Where else do I want? Um, let's put some here. I just want some extra planks for. Okay, one, two, three. Nope, nope. There. I don't have a lantern at the moment, but I might be able to do it with this. Nope. It needs a lantern. Man, I thought you were gonna be done. I missed Jupiter. How long is this gonna take? <laughs> Funny, because I started it. Thinking, oh, well, we just have a little bit of time. Let's sleep. They're all in bed. Take a nap. Almanda takes a nap. Yeah, it was the title of one of my videos in the room. Oh, just saw it the other day. Probably not my most popular one. My most popular worm video, wasn't it? About me fishing. 
that was exciting. All right. Where else am I gonna want some lantern? That lantern probably needs to move to this one. Yeah. Okay. It's almost the right place. Woo, guys. Lexi, hurry up. Right? Uh, probably not right, but oh well. Maybe I need to pause while I wait. Ooh, 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 shut windows. So, you get the more fancy stuff. The window panes. It's got an arch. Okay, so she had this other building area in level one. Now it's all connecting up. Level two. Nice. Hi. How are you doing? I think she's still building. I like to turn around and not like actually like show you. Like it doesn't look like they're building in the right place, but they are usually. As we saw last time. So this is. Oh, she leveled up, I think. So, the more... Oh, yeah. I'm just going to talk about this. Um, the more your stats change um, as you get better, and your character's little stats will change, um, the fast, the faster... The bigger the stats, the faster you are. I still have my base characters, because so, I haven't like had any kids, and I haven't actually added anything, so I have no... Um, no, like, super-powered stat people. So, like, these are the types of stats you get with the unemployed people. He's unemployed. Um, he's unemployed. But Lexi's going to be level 7, and you start to get some stats. Adaptability is now 12, so she's getting up. The higher the adaptability, the better the off, but they're good at, like, figuring things out um, as they go along. They are all pretty unhappy because they're unemployed, they don't have food, I don't think they're starving. Although, huh. It's, it's, they don't like the guards because we don't have any. We only have one house and it's level one. I need to give them more housing, but then that would, that will open up. I'm not trying to avoid it, I'm just trying to, I have one builder. I can make a second builder's hut. I don't really want to, because I don't want to have to manage two builders at the moment. I just want to manage the one. She's still working, right? Yeah, I think so. Looking good, Lexi. She's putting the grass down. Where are we at on the scroll? 99%. We're almost there. We are almost there. I need to get rid of the death marker. Now that you guys have seen it, um, remove. So I went to J. Below that. One there. I always forget that this is here, so it's an extra map. That's probably it looks like more detailed. You get the contours of all the areas that you made it to. Um, we got a little bit of music going here. I think you can probably hear it. See where I've been on the sea um, more than. In the land, I mean, down here, but more on the land than I have been on the sea. And there's this nice little river. What I could do if I really was excited, I could go back and re, -re river this, like I re river to the end here. So here's my mount. Oh, cool. Oh, bup, 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 bup. I didn't even notice. Awesome. Hey, there we go. It's starting to look like a big builder's hut. Ah, okay. So, we got a nice little walkway here. This is level two. There's a. This is the front entrance. 
So this is where I deposit my stuff. It's just got a nice little place right there next to it. Oh, that's what it was before. Yay. This looks pretty. I think she's gonna probably do maybe stair maybe not. Got an extra chest over here. So that's what the one of the gates was for. Maybe that's the only gate we had, I don't remember. We're starting to get some racks in the basement area, which I knew was coming. And that's where the sandstone is at. Um, looks pretty. Looks all, look at all the stuff that she's alloc allocated here. So we got some stuff for later for different builds and other things that she's gathered. I will grab the tin ore because I don't think she's going to need tin ore. Um, I might. Uh, I'll grab the bone because I doubt she's going to use the bone. Um, give her some extra grass where she found grass. So, uh, one rack is being used, one rack is not yet. There are double racks. So. Thanks, Lexi. Now, next, <laughs> I'm going to put you to work to do this guard tower. Um, so, we need to build the guard tower. We're going to go to guard tower. I haven't made this yet. Guard. Um, like I said, I was a little bit hesitant to this. I need to make a bow. So I need string and sticks. So string and sticks. <sighs> um, is that two or one? It makes two. Okay, so we're going to have two right off the bat. One for sure goes up there in that top corner. Um, I'm going to like spread them out. Um, might level them up right, right away. So you just do the upgrade. In the build options, you should upgrade. There. Okay, so we need to make a bow. We got string in here. I have sticks in my pocket, so let's make some bows. Let's make two. No, I, yeah. Or maybe I have a bow. Mm, I do have a bow. I wonder. Okay. We have the three ammo. Three. Hmm. We're gonna we're gonna cheap out this guard tower. Uh, and then I need some kind of planks. I have lots of planks. So it's oak, maybe. Um, one, two, three, four, five, seven. Let's just do spruce. I have lots of spruce. Okay. So what was this? Where'd the bow go? I did it again. I'm on to this of that. Okay, back to this. And back to the bow. And I try the bow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Guard tower. Alright, so now we've done this, fulfilled the my colony thing. Oh, I also got a guard and a guard tower. Will employ and house one guard to protect your colony. The new guard will need a bed and a house. In order to spawn. Once they are hired at the guard tower, that becomes their new residence and bed house will open up for a new citizen, child, or recruit. If you place a guard tower near a colony border and level them up, your border will expand. So, um, I get another bow, some arrows, and some. Do I have? Yep, it did. I'm finally learning how to do bow <laughs> in my other game. Um, let's see. My I drop off. I need to drop off stuff. Time to just spam. The dropping off stuff. I don't think I have anything in here. So spruce sun. Some of these is ah lanterns. Ha, ha, ha. I knew I had pre figured that out. Let's see. I would like that to go in the other area. I did grab a piston from somewhere. I do have some flower pots that I can put things in. I need a botany pot to make stuff, like kelp and stuff like that, to grow some kelp. So I have some kelp. Let's go over to my warehouse. Um, the warehouse needs a courier. Courier that used to be called a delivery man. So if you see a video where it talks about delivery man, I'm talking about cour courier. Courier. Um, 
yeah, I do think that's an ex a rogue one. Oh, no, no, let's work on something else. Okay, um, this is all. I'm gonna have to work here. I want the wood stuff in here. Let's organize it. Bing, bang, boom. Oh. I kind of maybe want that in there. Okay. Keep it in this rack for now. And then I would need to consolidate the torches. Oh, speaking of torches. Night, night. So now I've leveled up. Um, I mind pollen these things. What else do I have? Um, card collector. I have a buddy pack card. Now I can learn how the buddy pack card works. I can make a buddy. Ah, I need to do this. Ah, this will help me a lot. Because I have so many buddy cards. Anyway. Power tower. And I will get iron and. Huh. I have buddy beans. So I can't activate buddy beans. Buddy steel. Anyway. Um. Yeah. This is a whole thing. Um. Some of this mods helps you become stronger. Yay! Anyway, um, what were we doing? Our towers. Stuff. I need the build tool. So, if you watch some of my videos when I first started, I was using the uh, item itself, which is fine. Like I says, I'm noticing the chunks here. Um, Minecraft shows you which chunks you're in. So I'm in the second chunk over. Um, and that helps for a lot of stuff. Okay, so we need to back up a bit. Escape. So guard towers. Oops. Oh! Wait, how did I. Wait, how did I, Wait, what? Oh! Yeah. C. C is a zoom. I think I had seen that before, but I forgot all about it. And I hit F, so. And we went backwards. Um, level one, level two, level three, level four, level five. And do I need another for this? It would be nice to not have to use another for all this stuff. Maybe. Oh, too bad. Spruce is good. Um, I don't think we have a ton of options on these our towers. Mesa, I don't, I'm not really into Mesa. Nordic, Nordic is nice. Don't think I have the true, true dwarven, which is not, not sayable by a mod guy, that's for sure. Um, the one thing I don't know that I am capable of. <laughs> wow, though. That's cool looking, though. I don't really go to that aesthetic that much, but you know. Stone, stone. Stone can be nice. I think the one way I could, like, look at the top and bottom without going into, like, creative mode is to. Love go up and down, so what I could do is this. This lets me see some of these other levels. I should remember to put it back. Oops. Um. Hit the wrong button. I keep hitting the wrong button. No wonder it hits the wrong button. That's what the series is called. <laughs> Um, oh, no. oh, we do have a dwarven. Uh, we might be doing this one, even though it's huge. Okay. The dwarven one just wants to take up tons of moon. Look at how big. 
Uh, I, I like it. Because it fits with some of the other stuff we've been doing. I don't know. I don't know what it is. At the same time. Um, I'm not really going to want to take the entire space for this. I like mixing and matching, though. Um, I don't know. I'm not even going to look at the warped because I know that's all for sure. Let's see. So this actually fills up just the space that it needs, so that's kind of nice. Or, which one is that on wooden? Wooden's fine. Um, Asia, Asian. I don't have any Asian styles. That's pretty though. <sighs> okay, so you've got armor, uh, beds, I don't know what that is. I'm just kind of looking at what kinds of materials I'm going to need a little bit. Stripped oak. That is something special. What kind of size do I have? It's not a week, because it's different now. Again, it's really big. Um, Asian ones are not big. I don't know. I don't have to do all. This one kind of looks. Oh, I went too far. <laughs> and I'm on a false sword death looking at guard towers. Baby, come on. Don't fall again, please. Please, please. Eh. That's too red. So, I mean, it's nice. It's nice, though. Not for this one. Maybe a different gameplay. Diorite and birch. Oh, so much warm spruce. Caledonia. Pretty though. It makes use of the um, um, diorite that nobody likes. I don't like. It's big. Oh, kind of neat. Go in and out of reality here. And I think I need to up it a little bit. Ah. Hmm, maybe. I don't really like as much spruce. Can you go higher? Oh, okay, that's floating. So we're not floating. Maybe. That's pretty. This look hard to do. What's all inside? Just for something different? Caledonia, maybe? It's got both spruces and oak? We need to probably go after we get this set up. Caledonia alternative? Oh, that's nice. Cave? No. no. I'm not going to do one in the cave not for a while. Maybe. Dark oak. Eh. Fortress. <sighs> Fortress, I found out, is actually um, part of a bigger thing. Like everything connects in the fortress. Doesn't have to, I suppose. But that's how it's set up to like mix and match certain locations and stuff. Um, the rail jungle. Medieval birch. Go back to these versions. Well, let's let's go back to Caledonia. I know it's gonna be weird. Let's go to look like at level one. 
Am I at the right place for Caledonia? It's big though. I wonder really messed up by putting half of the colony in the corner here, but that's okay. We can expand. We will expand. Okay. Alright, level four is almost as impressive. Level three. I want a birch though. I don't know if I have birch over here. I mean I could get birch, obviously I'm going to get birch if I do Caledonia. It's not hard to do and make. Depends on how long we take. See, that's got a lot of birch logs. I, mean, I don't really like it at level one. Not hardly at all. <sighs> okay. I'll go back to the one I. No, I'm not that thing, so no. Let's see. Two, three, four, five. Let's do spruce. Let's do spruce alternative. And go. And we need to be water off. This been a long time. Probably over an hour. Probably over an hour and a half. Sorry, it's so long, so long we didn't do Jack. I need to change it just a smidge. Um, move it over a smidge. Because this is not, we did this before. We're gonna do it again. We're gonna reset it. An axe would be faster, but I didn't bring an axe over here. Get them too far. Okay, so we need to go up, up, up. Is that too far? Alright, let's back it up. One, two. Can I raise it up one? Just like above the ground. So I have to have a staircase to use it effectively. That's kind of looks nice though. I think that's going to fit. Everything fits. Not everything fits, but a lot of stuff fits. Let's back up the smidge more. Not all the way. Let me make sure this is on this platform I already have. Yep. Okay. Now we're going to say yes. Okay. Now I'm inside. So it's being built. Build options. Build building. We're requesting you to build it, please. Thank you. And we need to go here after I need to see what she's got. Tell me as soon as she tells me she's gonna start building it. Lexi. Lexi, Lexi Boo. There she comes. This will give one of our characters something to do. Okay, she started to work on it. So now she's got cobblestone, she's got dirt, she's got spruce fences and logs and slabs and stairs. That's all of that. You need to get her a few things. So that's the nice thing about it. I'm already 91% supplied before I even start. So anyway, we are 
building the guard tower. Once the guard tower is done, we will, um, I know this is the other one, actually. But just since I just have this in my brain, let's go over here. I know, I know, long episode that doesn't go anywhere. I get it. Yes, I know. You guys sleep over here, you work over there. I need another. Um, let's do the stone one, probably. I have not yet. Stone was kind of weird, level one, though. But, I liked it at the other levels. Let's make sure that I flip it around. Um, one, two. Last time I did the one of my houses, I flipped it backwards accidentally. Okay, so we're gonna push it over, push it back, take a look. Huh, maybe I should have it facing out towards the town and not me. Okay, this is right up near the edge, so this is probably gonna pump out our. Town borders a little bit, but that's okay. That's what you do with this. We're gonna call that something. Stone level one, not my favorite, but we'll get up to a different level shortly. And guess what? All that preparation we just did. Yay! Our towers. I don't have this one started yet. So, um, we'll, we'll get the guard towers in place, we'll maybe do either the third one or another up the update, because then that will you know, stop whining eventually, but that is going to mean we're going to get raids, so, um, this is coming up. You guys have a great day, thank you for joining me in my long, um, I need to fix this, once I figure out how to fix this, um, I don't like the way this looks. Anyway, you guys have a great day, and I will talk to you some other time. Thanks for joining me on my Let's Play New Player to Minecraft. We're now at, what's it called? Mount T Twilmere. Um, have a great day, and I will talk to you some other time.